All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. A beautiful evening. The showers have exited. We have a few clouds out there, but all in all, pretty fair weather. And even though it was cloudy today, we didn't get swelteringly hot. It was muggy, sticky air you can wear outdoors. More on that in just a second. Right now, we continue to track storms out of the region. These move through much of South Dakota, including our Southern Valley counties, delivering just rain and some thunder for us. But this has been a very windy uh, wind damage producing system that continues to bring severe weather out into places like Wisconsin. Now, here's the trail of wind reports and damage associated with it, as well as some flooding rainfall all the way from southwest North Dakota through the Southern Valley and into portions of Southern Minnesota. Now out to the west, we have some redeveloping storms that happened out in the big sky country of Montana. Those are heading into the oil patch right now. The storm heading towards Williston severe. The storm heading towards Glendive, Montana there on I-94. It also is severe. Now we do have a couple of storms right here. These little blips on the radar that are red about 125 miles away from can do. So it's still several hours away. I don't anticipate they're going to maintain that intensity through all of the overnight hours. More on that in a second. Right now we've cooled off into the lower 70s and even some mid 60s out there in places like Bemidji and in Halloc. Now we showed you the time lapse of the fog across the area. One of the reasons we have fog is when the temperature gets close to the dew point, that's saturation and that's when we can start forming haze and even cloud droplets in the lower atmosphere. Check out these dew point temperatures. We are in the 60 to 70 degree range as we head to bed tonight. So what the, what does that mean? Well, our temperatures have to fall from the lower 70s to these digits just a few degrees before the air is saturated. That means we could have more ha haze and more fog and low clouds overnight and into the morning. This is typical of dew points that they have down in the Gulf Coast states. We did have some 70 dew point degrees uh, today. So it's sticky out there. And in fact, out at Hector right now, 71 degrees, your dew point 63. So we have to cool less than 10 degrees for us to have 100% relative humidity and start forming some of that haze and fog. Hour by hour forecast. Let's see if we dip down into those mid 60s, setting things in motion. As we go through the early overnight, we'll dip down into the 60s, mid 60s and low 60s. Yes, so a chance of fog across the area is going to be likely. Those storms out of Montana will be pushing their way into our western counties, including the Devil's Lake Basin, as we start our day. A few rumbles of thunder, and again, I do not anticipate severe weather. Midday temperatures struggling to hit 80, just like today, thanks to clouds, thanks to fog that will eventually uh, burn off and evaporate. Then as we go through the afternoon, the heat is on where we have more sunshine, a little warmer, spotty warm temperatures down south as well. Thunderstorm chances mainly up north. When they form, their best uh, movement is going to be to the south and to the east. Most of us will not see thunderstorms. These could produce some areas of localized hail. We'll keep you posted on that. Other than that, it'll be hit and miss at the very best. We stay dry in Fargo the way it looks. 63 to start, 80 in the middle of your afternoon. A little warmer south, a little warmer north, and a little cooler off to the east. Otherwise, most of us will be near 80 with the best chance of storms like this guy. Tiffany captured a gorgeous shot. Look at the tower and cumulonimbus cloud there. Whoo, that's a tall one. All right, low 80s to mid 80s the rest of the week. Only hit and miss storms at best. Saturday, a few late showers and storms after a sizzling hot day at 90. 85 with a better chance of more widespread rain and thunder on Sunday. Some of those strong uh, storms could be strong. We'll keep you posted. This is kind of what we expect in summer, right? Some hot days, some storms pop up. That's exactly right. And enjoy it while it lasts. Absolutely. That's yes. right. Yeah, we don't need to. We don't need to keep the shovels put yeah. away. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Well.